One of the most frightening things you can face when owning a home is learning that your house is being damaged by sinkhole activity. My name is Ted Corliss. Since 1999, I have been involved in every facet of sinkhole litigation available in the state of Florida, representing homeowners now having spent decades representing insurance companies. If you have a home that is being damaged by sinkhole activity, and the insurance company has agreed to cover your loss, that doesn't mean the dispute ends there. Then the dispute turns to the proper manner of repairing your home. If your insurance company is attempting to use cementitious grout, grout, which is a flowable material made of concrete, is injected underneath your home at depth. That can be and should be a component of your home's repair. However, it should not be the only manner of repair. Since about 2006, 2007, engineering firms have finally come around to the idea that the use of grout alone is not an effective way of stabilizing the land and the foundation. Instead, they should also be using, in 100% of the cases, either an additional product called chemical grout or underpinning in the perimeter of the home. A failure to do that, in my opinion, is below the standard of care for engineers in the same or similar community. And insurance companies should not sit blindly while incomplete repairs are performed on their insured's home. If you are currently involved in a sinkhole claim with your insurance company and the issue of repair is on the table, it's important that you go to our website www.corlessbarfield.com where we address these issues of proper remediation. Or if you have questions about an insurance claim, give us a call. Be well.